and welcome back to Avid vs. Premier. Today I'm going to talk about one of the first things I noticed when I started playing with Avid. And it's the way that Premiere and Avid are different in how they do basic editing. As you can see in Premiere, I can just grab the end point of a clip and Premiere will tell me how many frames I am adjusting the clip by. I rely on this function quite a lot while working, especially when I'm getting into the weeds. See in Avid, when I make a cut or add edit, I don't know if it works. In Premiere, it's usually more obvious. Did it work? Okay, I guess it worked. Thanks for making it simple, Avid. Sponsor my channel, Avid. See, in Avid, you can't just drag the end of a clip like you can in Premiere. See, I'm trying to do that right now, but of course nothing is happening. First, you have to highlight your clips and get these purple bars to show up. Then you gotta click some buttons here. See, unlike Premiere, where the buttons act as individual tools that perform unique functions that have a direct action and reaction, the tools in Avid are more like switches you can flip on an all-purpose Swiss Army knife. And now when I hover over the cut, I have multiple tool options show up. I still don't know what the differences between yellow and red options are, but we will get there. Kinda neat, but also not really obvious. Most apps usually go with the one button at a time for the user experience. Also, the frame count is up here in the Composer monitor, as opposed to down by the clip you're moving, like in Premiere. Anyways, that concludes this lesson. See you next time!